Hey, you guys, I just wanted to pop in today to clarify a piece from the Money Magnet Activator around the difference between visioning and and dreamy fantasizing about creating change in your life. So there's a few little clarification points that I think might be helpful. And if you've caught the Money Magnet Activator, that's awesome. And if you haven't, I'll drop the link below when I finish the video so you can catch it because it's really worth taking the time to journal through the activities that I've got there in that PDF. So here's the, here's the difference. And so you might, you might be, the naming of it is less important than the essence of what I'm going to talk about. So when I talk about dreamy fantasizing, there's this sense of, you know, like if I paint a picture, like someone working in a job that they don't like, maybe they're in a cubicle or in an office or maybe working from home now after COVID, but they're doing something that doesn't fulfill them. And so it feels like a grind, you know, their kind of day-to-day life feels like a grind. And so then they're visioning or dreaming, not visioning, but dreaming about something that would take them out of Um, their reality. So maybe it's like winning a holiday or winning the lotto or marrying a rich partner so that you don't, so that you can get taken care of and you don't have to work or getting an inheritance from an elderly relative. So there's this sense when you're dreaming that the power and the resources to to create that change are outside of yourself, right? So the the power and the resources to create that change so that that reality or so that that vision or that dream can come into reality, the power to do that is not within your control. And so that's what I mean about dreamy fantasizing. It's like, it's a fantasy. And yes, it's within the realms of possibility that something like that might happen, but you have no control over whether it happens or not. So there's no sense of needing to take action. There's no sense of momentum or desire to take action so that you can get that goal. On the other hand, visioning your brilliant future might have the same eventual outcome, more money, more health, more love, whatever those things are, but visioning comes from a sense of expansion and resourcefulness. So the resources and the power to make that change and bring that vision into reality are within my control, right? So something like that might be growing my business for which there are a thousand things that I could do today to grow my business, finding an ideal partner, which, you know, you need to go on dates or go on online dating sites or go and talk to people, right? There's something you can do to find an ideal partner or saving to invest in a house or some other investment versus getting an inheritance, So notice how when we're visioning an ideal, brilliant future, there is a sense of power to be able to take action and take a step towards that today. So you can ask yourself these questions like, is it within my, is this within my power to create for myself? That's a a good way to test between, is this actually a fantasy that I'm using just to escape my reality because I'm feeling lack in my reality? Or is it actually a vision that is going to call me forward and cause me to grow and take action so that I can become the person that can inhabit that reality, right? It's like that vision causes me to want to grow. It causes me to want to take action. It has an inherent sense of momentum in it so that you feel empowered and excited and um, get some energy to take the action to move towards that goal. So there's a clear line, even if all of the steps aren't certain along the way and they may change. There is a clear line between, oh, there's that vision that I have for my future and here is a step I can take today that will move me towards that. So there is a power within. So you can ask yourself, like, if you're having a dream or a vision and you're not sure, is it a dream or is it a vision? Is it a fantasy? Is it it actually a vision? You can ask yourself, is the power to create this within my control? Like, is this within my control to take actions and do those things to get that reality? Even if you might need to gather resources or learn along the way, is it within my control to do this? Do I feel empowered when I think about my ability to begin taking steps, right? Do I feel, does 
thinking about this, envisioning this and imagining myself in that reality, does this cause me to feel empowered when I think about my ability to take those steps? And then the simple, like to ground it into reality, what action can I take today to move towards this reality? What action can I take today, even if it's the tiniest, tiniest little step? right? What is one action that you could take today to move you towards that reality? And you know, there's always something we can do. It might be making a post on social media. It might be writing that first page of your book or, you know, brainstorming out an outline or reaching out to a friend to gather resources or starting to do some research. Um, Ideally, we want to be taking an action that engages us with the world so that it's not just stuck in the bubble of you and you or me and me, right? It's not just inside that dreamy land, but it's actually engaging with the world and interacting with the world so that you can get feedback to keep moving towards your goal. So that is one of the best ways to activate your wealth frequency and start activating that money magnet is to actually start taking action. (laughs) Who would have thought? Start taking action. And the wildest thing happens, you know, even if that initial action isn't the thing that causes you to get a new client or grow your business. It starts the momentum. It starts the ball rolling and it gets you into a state of feeling resourceful and grateful and appreciative and in momentum, which makes you a magnet to more wealth, more clients, more energy, and it gets you into flow. So I hope that's been helpful. Let me know in the comments below what you took from this. And if you're brave, you could share one of your visions to architect a brilliant future and we might be able to help you with it. See you soon.